this is a Lego castle filled with innocent civilians living happily ever after. Just kidding, because this is a Lego army filled with some of the strongest Lego soldiers ready to burn this place to the ground. But the castle is their own army of medieval soldiers to protect it. And today we're going to be simulating a Lego war and build things like tanks, helicopters, watchtowers, catapults, and a lot more to have the most legendary battle ever. But first, we need to build our two minifigure armies. The first army is going to be modern day military soldiers, so I bought a bunch of specialized parts like utility belts, helmets, protection vests, and weapons like rifles, rocket launchers, dynamite, bazookas, and over 30 others to juice up this army. I started with building the leader of the army, General Brickman, the most feared conqueror in the entire LEGO universe. He's got so many cool weapons so that he can lead his squad to a dub. And now we're gonna build the rest of his army. And here it is, General Brickman's army, which includes some awesome soldiers, like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy who's a chipmunk that became a soldier, this guy who's got a red mohawk, tattoos, and a hammer with the most badass name ever, Sergeant Sausage, who General Brickman made his second in command. But just because they're decked out with gear, it doesn't make them worthy enough to be in the army. So we're gonna have tryouts. General Brickman put them through a series of rigorous challenges to see who's ready to conquer the world and who's a wussy. While all that is going on, let's take a look at our other army. This is a massive castle village with bedrooms, dungeons, a drawbridge, a water wheel, a ladder, a hot dog stand, and a lot more. But unlike the modern military, this army's gonna have to fight their war with old-fashioned weapons like swords, shields, bows, axes, spears, horses, their bare fists, and a bunch of builds that they're gonna make later on. And this is their leader, known as King Octavian, with his medieval army of knights, horsemen, wizards, a caveman, and this guy who likes cooking up giant sausages for people's mouths. And Octavian just heard from his pet pig that war is coming and they gotta prepare. So I'm gonna build them a watchtower to defend themselves, while the caveman does some one-arm push-ups. And while that was going on, General Brickman and Sergeant Sausage had tried Tryouts going at full force. My Danny said I can't play Call of Duty on Xbox anymore, so I want to play in real life now. Can I join the army, please? Of course. Grab that little toy of yours and point it right between your own eyes. And after a little bit, General Brickman chose his squad. The coolest of which included this soldier who's got a machine gun that can spin, this juggernaut soldier who I gave custom armor pieces to beef him up. He's so thick that General Brickman recruited two of them. And then there's also this soldier whose strongest ability is his face reveal that blinds the eyes of his enemies. And in total, General Brickman chose 18 of his strongest troops. But now they need a way to get to battle, so I'm gonna build them a military transport boat for all of them to ride in. And after a few hours of work, they all loaded in and set sail for war. Stop pushing! Move! Bugger off, man! You take up the entire what area! Did you say? Quiet! Next person who speaks gets this hammer shoved up there. So, the medieval side was making good progress on the watchtower. I designed a first floor with spiders inside for protection, just in case if anyone tries to invade, and then built up two more floors, as well as a rooftop sniping zone that I threw on the top, and added a bunch of soldiers to man the tower. There we go. Now, next to our castle, we have this giant watchtower. And just as that was finished, General Brickman's army pulled up in the boat, and now they need something to bring the castle crumbling down. So I'm gonna build them a tank. Here's a beautiful montage of it. And here's the tank, the figure can go right in the turret, which can spin around to blast everyone, and the gun can move up and down to blast sky targets, and you can even remove the top for an insider where you store a driver or a prisoner. Look at General Brickman's first weapon, this absolute beauty of a tank that turned out looking amazing. It's able to skirt skirt across the battlefield, oh my god. And now I'm adding it to battle. The chipmunk soldier then hopped in and started firing at the watchtower, which tried firing back, but the puny little arrows couldn't do anything, so they thought of another way to strike back. They decided to build a battering ram, which is pretty much this long, thick shaft with the spiky tip on wheels that the medieval people use to bang targets and destroy them. And here's the finished battering ram, and now his wheels to move around and tote stuff. But while they were getting ready to start banging some shafts, the modern army already started building another machine, a military Hummer truck so that the figures can move quickly across the battlefield and gun down their enemies. It's got so many awesome features, doors on the sides and back for minifigs to get in and get out, and it's got this awesome looking turret on the top that spins. And now, it can be summoned into war. Now that the military's got two builds on the battlefield, the medieval people need to make their move. So, I picked an unwilling volunteer for the battering ram, and he started Usain bolting to the tank. But then he gets absolutely body blocked by the juggernaut soldier. And he proceeds to chuck the battering ram directly at the watchtower, which gets wrecked. The rubble started to flame up, and only two minifigures survived. Octavian and the caveman, who were pissed and now have to strike back. And they chose the most unlikely move in the book, rebuilding the battering ram. So while General Brickman marches forward, they can make a sneak attack from behind. It is all fixed up. So the caveman, with every fiber of his being, thrusted that ram into the truck, and absolutely sent that boy to heaven. Oh my god, he's got that dog in him. He absolutely just ragdolled this entire truck, and these guys are just getting crushed and hopeless. Even 
though that was a fat dub for the medieval squad, they had another issue. The military started to advance and fire at everyone in the castle. So Octavian returned to defend his people, but he's gonna need to unleash his inner willsmith, because all that was separating the military and the castle was a moat, which they're about to swim across. But just as they were Michael Phelpsing across the moat, the wizard came in clutch and casted a spell that summoned sharks in the water, that terrorized the soldiers trying to swim across, and turned two of them into lunch. But one of the soldiers managed to escape and safely snuck into the back of the castle. But at this point in the war, everything was a stalemate. The medieval people were getting shot and blown up, and the military couldn't move forward because the sharks were death staring them. So they both agreed on a truce for 24 hours. Enjoy your last 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 57 seconds of life. And just at that moment, two things came flying from the sky and crash landed near General Brickman and Octavian. Both teams got loot crates with extra resources for the fight. General Brickman's had a bunch of new weapons that they could drool over like an automatic machine gun, pieces to build a helicopter, and ladder pieces for them to climb the castle's walls. Meanwhile, the medieval side had a homemade crate that Octavian prepared for times like this. After carefully opening it, it contained a bunch of Lego cannon pieces that actually shoot, and then some cannonballs, real balls, and a golden right. axe. And after getting their loot, Octavian and Bob formed a battle plan over some sausage salad. And his first command was to add in a bunch of the cannons all over the castle and load them up with balls. And at the same time, the modern military finished drooling all over their weapons. Mate, what are you doing with these goofy little weapons? You're going to play dress up. And General Brickman came up with a plan to build a helicopter and I got to it. But it wasn't just their side building new machines, but Octavian wanted to build something with all the remaining cannons. But there were so many of them and his mindlessly placing pieces for hours and hours at a time really what Lego is meant for? Well, yeah, pretty much. But for this, I'm gonna challenge myself to combine a bunch of the cannons to form the Mega Cannon. And after the most intense two minutes of my life, it was done, and now all we need to do is hide it behind the castle and wait for the perfect moment. And for another pro-defensive weapon, I built an OP bow and arrow using a rubber band piece that can shoot a tile a few feet away, aka send General Brickman's lifeless body to the Shadow Realm. So I built two of them, and now we're adding them to the castle. Then, I finished up General Brickman's helicopter, which has two really cool looking wings, a cockpit, and two blasters in the front. But that wasn't all they built, because they had something else to do. Pretty much, this guy's pup ended up getting shot with an arrow, so to still move across the battlefield, they built up a military jeep for the dog and owner, which can run across the battlefield and give the doggo the thrill ride and rest he needs. And at this point, the 24 hours were up. Octavian woke up from his nap to the sound of gunshots, and did what no Lego builder has ever done, go outside, to see the military hard at work. The first order of action was getting to the castle, so I built them three ladders so that they could cross without becoming the shark's dinner, the helicopter is now dropping the three ladders off, and the soldiers have started to scale the walls. Some of the figures have now started to climb the ladders and scale the walls, only issue, the cannons were firing those balls all over, the bow and arrows were going crazy, and trying to cross became extremely risky unless they wanted to end up like this guy. Nom, nom, nom. So they all fell back. Wait, what is he doing? Except this soldier is trying to invade the castle because the entrance is wide open. Never mind. But he made a huge mistake and still crossed, and Octavian flipped the drawbridge as he was walking, causing him to fall in the dark dungeon of doom. My guy 100% pooped his pants. And was greeted by the Watcher of Doom, who threw him into the cell, but at least he's got his boy next to him. The troops may have retreated, but not from the fight, because General Brickman opened fire on the wizard sitting on the side. But at the last moment, before the bullets landed, his pet cow jumped in and ate the shot, and unfortunately died. But that wasn't the last of their pain, because they started to run out of cannonballs to blast. But before they could, General Brickman shot down all of them. And now all that they have to defend with are the bow and arrows. Never mind, because he also destroyed all of those. The people kept getting fired at, and they're not going to survive long at this rate, so they came up with a genius plan. They were going to throw nuts at the chipmunk to hopefully distract him off the tank. <laughs> Don't grab his nuts. Huh? Hmm. Put his nuts down. <laughs> Don't eat his nuts. Stop eating his nuts. Get his nuts out your mouth. And since the chipmunk was chowing down on a mouthful, he was away from the tank. So they called in the guy everyone forgot about, the caveman who spent the last day hiding in the storage container, but is now coming out at the clutch moment to steal the tank. And the caveman wasted no time. He spam clicked the tank's buns and ended up with a direct shot at the helicopter, which crash landed off the table. That caveman is an absolute dog. And General Brickman is now pissed, so he grabbed his dynamite and chucked it at the caveman. But you know what the caveman did? He caught it and threw it back like James Charles. And for the first time in his life, General Brickman was scared. Except he wasn't, because unlike the rest of his squad, he was unfazed by the explosion, and him and the caveman proceeded to have a staring contest, which turned into them engaging in the most epic standoff ever. Firing at each other, dodging each other's bullets, using everything they had, doing backflips, with the goal of ending the other guy. And eventually, the caveman got popped. But not by General Brickman.
man. He got sniped from the other side of the battlefield, and the civilians watched in sadness as the dude who was winning them the battle just got snipped. Meanwhile, thanks for the help. Not that it was needed. Let's finish this. Get your stinking little bottoms up. We got a war to win. The army regained themselves, but General Brickman wasn't satisfied. He wanted to crush the castle people for disrespecting him, so he shot a signal into the sky that called for some of his old soldiers that pulled up and are ready to serve their leader. But they can't just come empty handed to General Brickman. So they spent the next five hours signing another LEGO tank, but this time much bigger and mightier than the previous. And I gave it this big old machine gun that can spin around like the other tank to blast anyone and give the driver brain damage. And with that, the mega tank was finished and added to battle with Sergeant Sausage taking control of it. Oh baby, I like this one! So, General Brickman's army started marching forward and Octavian was defenseless. Except, he wasn't because he remembered his last weapon of defense mega cannon and summoned it into the air. But someone had something to say about that. I will take care of this, my lord. At that moment, Darth Vader lifted up destroyed remnants of the helicopter and threw him at Mega Cannon. And with Mega Cannon gone, Octavian really was defenseless. Except, he was about to be lifeless too, as General Brickman's troops started to climb the ladders to invade the castle. Climb the walls and burn the castle to the ground. Obliterate everything you touch. Smash everyone you see, just like how I smashed your s However, at that moment, Octavian remembered that he still had one other thing. The axe that he got from his loot crate, so he grabbed it, but not to duel the enemies that were climbing the castle. He had a much more genius plan, but there was no time. Just then, every Everyone in the castle charged in with their lives on the line at General Brickman's forces. I'll smack it in your face! Meanwhile... Nobody believes in you! You've lost again and again and again! The lights are cut off! But you're still looking at your greed, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, It's not over until I win! Ugh, the caveman came alive, but at the worst possible time. <laughs> no! Huh? Leave him be! You had your chance! It's party time for me! I said piss off! The sergeant proceeded to melt his hammer and mold a new arm for the caveman. Why? Cause your people need you! He was right, but still was an all-out war going on on top of the ladders with people from both sides falling to their death. But they did buy Octavian enough time to go to the tree next to the castle and start chopping it down for wood. He wanted to build catapults to launch stuff at the enemy's faces to hopefully knock them off the ladders. But at that very moment, the soldier who escaped the sharks earlier came out of hiding to ambush Octavian. I've been waiting for the last 35 hours for this! Oh crap. But then a voice was heard from the top of the castle. It was the caveman who leaped from above to pummel the soldier with his back. And then together gathered all the wood they could from the tree and executed Octavian's plan. But they had nothing to launch. They had no balls and practically no other resource. Except... The one thing they had was a hot dog chef who was waiting his whole life for this moment. So with no other choice, Octavian asked the hot dog man to grill up as many sausages as he could. Let him but while he was doing that, the medieval soldiers fighting on top of the ladders were getting absolutely wrecked. So Octavian and the caveman charged into battle to help their people. And soon after, the hot dog man started firing foot long, six inches, and a whole sausage frenzy at General Brickman. And then it just all went to chaos. Everyone was on the ladders, duking it out with sausages flying in their faces. This knight got revenge on one of the thick boys for murdering her brother. And then Octavian and General Brickman started dueling it out themselves. It's time for us to finish this. <laughs> finish what? You have the best weapons in the world, and you can't even beat a bunch of people whose best weapons are their nuts. Ah. But this time, it was different. Brickman got the best of him as Octavian fell in the water with a hungry shark right behind him. But just as he was about to reunite with his ancestors, the shark was turned into a dolphin by the wizard that Octavian proceeded to ride on to safety. But despite that, General Brickman's army was too much and all the sausages could do was trigger them even more, causing them to shoot down and obliterate all the catapults. Blast the entrance down. They proceeded to explode the gate, trespass the castle, and hold the now defenseless medieval people hostage in their own home. Even the kids, why are they so happy? While waiting for General Brickman's orders. But they forgot about one man who kept fighting even though the catapults were no longer he had hope and was chucking those six inches with his bare hands at General Brickman's face. Who actually had his own thing to deal with. Oh baby, we're eating good tonight. Sergeant, where have you been? It's time we cross and finish ah, get these stupid things out of here. Nah. Sergeant, you need to get lost with these dumb sausages. How dare you? As all the past cruelty from General Brickman boiled in his head, you got to get lost. The sergeant fired at his leader, who landed face to face with the shark, who got feasted on the man. And with General Brickman gone, your boy Sausage is the new leader of the army. And he stood right there staring down the castle people. Mr. Sausage, this can't go on any longer. Me, I can offer you a truce. Oh my god, yes please. But I need Need some more of that sausage in my mouth. Oh heck yeah, we got hot dogs for days! And at that moment, they agreed on a truce and the armies came together to live happily ever after, except someone woke up. That red-haired monster! 
Thank you all so much for watching. This video took me over 500 hours to make, but we successfully made a Lego war just like how I imagined it as a six year old. It only took 10 years. Hey, subscribe right now or I'll smash this hammer in your face. <laughs>